Sassel is committed to operations excellence, a management approach that improves profitability by implementing world-class systems and best practices. Sassel Solvents is a world leader in its field and has made great improvements to its operations using the principles of operations excellence as its foundation. The foundation that we've built this improvement program in Solvents on is the Operations Excellence Management System which basically consists of a management system which addresses different practices that we expect to see in an excellent business. And this is built around a plan, do, review and improve process. Sassel Solvents conducted thorough research to identify areas for possible improvement. Probably about mid uh, of 2011, uh, we consulted with a company called McKinsey uh, regarding the performance and operations of our Midland complex. Uh, we did a 24-hour diagnostic with McKinsey uh, and we were looking to use the principles of OE to take the plant from good to greatness. As soon as you've admitted you've, there's an opportunity for improvement, and you've got a willingness to close the gap, it's easy to do it. The diagnostic was done. Uh, when we sat down, we received the results, and the results of that diagnostic showed that there were four distinct tracks that we'd like to improve on the overall performance of the Midland operations. These tracks were uh, operational, a people's track, a shutdown improvement track, and a technical track. By finding ways to improve on each of these tracks, the entire operation moved from good to brilliant. On the technical track, the objective was to increase volumes by lengthening the plant's online time. The main challenge was we identified what was the problems, but how to get it done was the challenge, and that's why we employed the operations excellence approach, making teams dedicated to the problems, get everybody involved, and that they buy into the solution and then make the solutions visible and trackable so that we can actually show that the improvement is occurring. People have responded to it, um, people have taken up the challenge and people have made it, has, has got ownership of it. And I think that is one of the, in my view, one of the biggest achievements that we actually got, that people, that people is now wanting to see this result, people want to actually have that ownership and, and involvement. What we've achieved is we were able to extend the average run on the test run by making some changes to 160 or 169 days. We improved a bit of volume production and most importantly we've reduced some polymer formation in the plant. We've also approached uh, R&D, our colleagues, to assist us with statistical analysis of the plant, similar that's done on gasif gasifiers in Secunda, and that helped us to actually show that the plant is running within a sweet spot continuously. The vision on the people track was to effectively manage process systems with employees working towards a common goal. Inclusion and collaboration yielded great successes. I think the successes that we've achieved uh, on the operational excellence size on the people track is firstly include all our people in step by step as we go through the process. That's the first thing. The second thing is also to give them the opportunity also to give their views in how the process should look like and they also feel then accountable and part of the process. Some of the improvements are the filter rate changes, uh, gauges, gauges in the field, uh, maximum and lower operating ranges, uh, the asset hood, uh, compatibility and easy to, to use. Users of the new asset hoods provided significant input in their design. The type of asset hood we used, uh, we used before, it was a behavior and it was more intense for the guys to use. You couldn't wait for a longer time when you work because people were sweating. It was not uh, getting more air inside. The new one that we have now, it's more comfortable. The people can wear it longer and work safe, and it's more easier to use. Then I um, see clearly with, uh, with the acid suit, and then the air is coming inside the acid suit, then I can work uh, safely. On the operations track, the mission was to realize the business vision of sustaining greater run lengths between shutdowns. The vision of the operations track was essentially to make sure that uh, the knowledge sharing, technical knowledge sharing amongst the team is improved within the operations team. Um, it essentially entailed that we improve the knowledge sharing 
the systems and the processes uh, that we use to enable us. The challenges uh, was to get the guys to be behind the goal and mobilize them. Uh, they are shift workers, so just to get them together and, 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 and work together was a mission. Um, the success factors were the visual operating boards that we have on the plant, um, the, the field parameters that we've implemented on the, on the plant, as well as the, the is repackaging our operating envelope. Uh, those are the things that we delivered on. And on the shutdown track, the vision was to gain management control of the shutdowns regarding safety, integrity, schedule and cost. Operations Excellence facilitated the realization of this vision. Well, since we started the OE, we've, the trend is definitely we below our agreed schedule. We are, I think, on average running a schedule index of a 0.8 currently, and the trend is, is in the right direction downwards, and we are now in the process of optimizing and cutting down the dates to shorten the shutdown run lengths. Improvements across these tracks necessitated total buy-in from the management team. Improvements in solvents is successful because senior management was committed in the OE process right from the beginning. They understood the problems, the opportunities and they supported the process of uh, improvement. Beyond senior management driving improvements from the top, it is the collaborative nature of the business that results in success. One of the key success factors for us with this OE approach, the Operations Excellence, on the technical side was that we had top management down support as well as grassroots up. And the reason for that is without both sides agreeing and supporting, it would have been very difficult for us to actually uh, get the improvements down as well as get the sustainable support for it. The, the success of the Operations Excellence project, I think in my mind what, what made it successful was the fact that the guys opened up when we got to them and there was a whole uh, support all the way from the top management to the floor level and the guys were open with their ideas so I think that was the whole thing that made it successful. I think the, the value of really collaboration is really to seek understanding uh, with our employees. Uh, we also achieve the buy-in of them and also the commitment and accountability to, to work together in achieving our common goal. As a result of the Operations Excellence Program, shutdowns are shorter, run lengths are longer and volumes are up by 20% because people are involved in the improvements. Improvement is an ongoing process. It is about constantly assessing current performance and identifying further opportunities. Improvements cannot be successful in the long run if they aren't sustainable. We can't put through processes which are temporary. It has to be a sustainable process that all of our employees in solvents, when the OE team have gone away, all of our employees in solvents can sustain this process and make improvements to the overall process. That is where the management system is so powerful to ensure that we keep on reviewing and identifying additional opportunities to in the future even improve further. 